Okay, we come again with another video presenting our new simple software that is able to generate report cards within a shortest period of time. Just within 10-15 minutes, all your report cards for your schools are done. This software is integrated using uh, Microsoft Office Excel uh, together with Microsoft Office Word. So these two packages have been merged together in order for them to produce for you a report card so quick. Now, let us just look at how we can be able to have our report card being done. We've got the pattern where you need to write the exam number of that particular candidate. We, will, we are going to add our today's candidate. Remember, there are a lot of candidates that are here. This is for NISA Trasco. The school located 15 miles along Lusaka Kawe Road. Now, we are going to add another another candidate in our for our demonstration purposes. So we we'll have here the exam number. We we'll say maybe 72. We'll add about three of them. Remember, this one is a general number. Okay, this is a general number. Okay, now. So, as we add these exam numbers, let me just do a drop down list down here so that we can just put them in series. Okay, just to be quick. So, uh, these four are the ones from uh, 0072, 0073, 0 to 75. They are our today's demonstration candidates. So, now this first candidate will call him Wale. Temwani Mwale Temwani Temwani Mwale Okay, this Temwani Mwale Is female Then we have uh, uh, Prince Mwene Prince Mwene Is male Just come to the male pattern And click uh, The down scroll button Then uh, we've got uh, Joshua uh, Joshua Lenga So say M You can even type M here Then we move back to the last one Who happens to be John John Kangwa These are the four candidates For our today's demonstration so this demonstration will be based on how this system works. This is a simple system, very simple, and doesn't cost a lot of money. As long as you've got Word on your device, you've got Microsoft Excel on your device, it will run very smoothly. Now let us look at this part these particular four candidates that we've added. Let's take, for instance, this is a grade 7 exam. When you calculate it out of 150, in English, this child will go to 123. We move on to the next one. Mathematics, the child didn't perform very well. The child got 80. What you discover from the system, it will indicate to say, it will indicate a red bar, or the cell will change to red, signifying that this particular child failed this particular subject. So now, when we move on to the next one, we have... Um, in uh, integrated science, the child got 145. In social studies, the child got 111. Automatically, the score will pop out. Because this score has got a formula that simply calculates the best 4 plus special paper 1 and 2. So already we've entered 4. Uh, four subjects so it has already calculated and added up together so now we'll move on to the next one in cts let's take for instance this child got 132 we'll move to special paper one you know this is a, a subject which normal learners don't perform very well 116 then special paper two the child gets 148 we click this is the total score we have another child here in English. This child doesn't perform very well. 99. In mathematics, the child gets 100. In uh, social and in integrated science, the child got 86. 
in uh, social studies the child gets um, 105 cts the child gets 111 special paper 1 the child gets 86 then special paper 2 this child gets 145 okay the child gets 640 646 in total then here this one is a below average child okay here 90 is there 99 the other one the 92 the other one here cts the child gets somewhere 89 in special paper one the child gets 70 76 in special paper two the child gets 100 Okay, we move on to the last one, John Kangwa. John Kangwa is a child who is poor in English. We'll just put 87, then he's good in math, 142, then we get it to 124, then the child here gets almost, um, uh, almost the same marks, okay? Oh, just the same marks then we move on to this one he gets 123 123 wanted to write 123 then he gets 145 so these are the results for these candidates remember this candidate by numbering is on number 67 67 that's where we're going to start from now let us look at how the report card is presented how perfect the report card is presented almost to the standard of ECZ. Let's just click to the report card. Oh, it takes us to the uh, Microsoft Office uh, uh, Word. Now, as I mentioned, this is uh, a report, the system which NASA Trasco is already using. So now, this is how the report card will be. There will be a subject here, statement of result there, standardized score, grade. Exactly the way ECZ comes up with these, these type of uh, statements. Now, when you look at it here, there's the name of the school, there's grade 7, midterm, mock, composite examination. These are things that you can change. Basically, you can change them. Then here, we have also candidate. Here we have the the, the candidate exam number and uh, the candidate the candidate's name the center for the school the mock year thereafter these are the subjects that the child has been entered for automatically it will come here then also here it is indicating to say there is no entry meaning for this child nothing has been entered these grades are just the basically the fail grades Meaning, in our standardized score, we've got something below 99. Something below 99 or something below 100. Let me just put it that way. Now, let's move on to our mailings where we can be able to check on our candidates that we entered. I said our candidates are on are starting from number 67. So, we're just going to type 67 and in those enter. We've got Joshua Lenga on number 67. Joshua Lenga, these are the results, and it is giving out its base here directly to say he got 546. When we move on to the other one, we we'll discover to say here again for uh, Prince Mwene, the results are popping out as expected, the way we wanted them with comments, the grade being tabulated, the name of the child changing just like that. Here we are, Division 1, the grade 1, 4, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1. Exactly the standard of ECZ. Then the moment if you are done, just want to have your results being printed. Just click on Publish. Thereafter, what do you do? You say, I want to print the document. Okay, how many documents do you want to print? We just want documents from page 66. From page 66, this is Prince Mwene, 66. Okay, let's just move back. We check the document numbers. We're starting from 65. 
66, 67, 68. John Kangwa is the last one. So 68. We have John Kangwa. So we want to print documents from 65. Not all, but from 65 to 60, 68. Okay. Then we move on. It will automatically take us to the print view. Thereafter, we are going to select the type of printer we are using. It depends. But for today, for today's demonstration, we want to look at how we can turn them into PDF quickly. You just come and pick up Microsoft Print to PDF. The moment you pick it up, then you do enter. Automatically, it will take you where you need to save this particular document. I, I'll basically save it on the desktop and say demo. That's the name I'll put it. So demo. Then thereafter, here now it is printing and it's done. So now let us just quickly go to our desktop. Let me just minimize these two things. Okay, we'll move on to the demo. We find here is our demo. Wow. This is our report card. There are how many? Four of them. If, if in the instruction, which is Z normal reports, to say the composite score is the addition of max obtained in special paper 1, 2, and the best four subjects. This mark. This mark of division 1 here. We've got um, 770, 775. Then here the score is well standardized, well, well standardized. This is how we come up with this two. This two is available on our page. Just follow our page, Digital Empire Technologies, and you will be able to have this type of a software that is very simple to use. It's just a simple piece of script that we've used in order for us to come up with such good work. Thereafter, you can be able to command at your own free time. Please uh, don't forget to like our, our YouTube channel, share, and ensure that you put up a comment. Any improvements that you would want us to put to the systems that we keep posting every day are very much welcome today. And have a blessed, blessed learning period. Thank you.